Hi guys, this is Angie from This Little Mitten Reborn Nursery, and I watched a video today um, from Lynn over at Littlefoot Nursery, and she did a video, um, and in that video she showed her first baby that she ever painted um, named Avery, so I figured I thought that was a good idea, and I am coming on to show you my first baby that I painted a year ago next to the baby that I uh, most recently um, completed which you guys have seen already before so as you can see even just looking like you know looking at them in this way you can see a really really big difference uh, I can't remember what sculpt this is but um, it's a bountiful baby sculpt and so this is my first baby that I ever painted uh, she didn't, I mean, she didn't turn out like terrible, but um, you can see, you know, like I try to add some milk bumps and um, they look terrible, <laughs> but um, yeah, so I mean, here's her lips, uh, her eyelashes, um, she's pretty much bold I think there is maybe I don't know I can't tell I might have painted really or drawn on maybe really light hair but um, it's really hard to see if I did or not um, here are her hands um, they're very very lightly pink on the inside um, and here's the top of her hand and her and her nails if it will focus maybe um, but yeah you can see let's see um, there is a little bit of veining there and her art of her arm isn't much different she has some blushing on her elbows you can see that being a lot more um, and here's her nails and here are her legs her knees are a little bit blushed. And there's the bottom of her feet. And then this one, bottom of that foot. And her leg. A little bit of veining. Um, but you can tell that she lacks, I mean, compared to James here, she lacks a lot of color. So, I don't know, I thought it was just really interesting. Um, to see the difference between one year, one year of painting, my first baby and my most recent baby that I haven't, um, haven't, um, sold yet. I haven't, I haven't done his pictures or anything yet. I've been so busy just working on painting the babies that I'm currently painting. But anyways, um, and then I also decided, I saw, um, I don't know, I saw, a month or two ago that um, Random Reborns Renee did a video and she just did 30 random things about herself so while you look at these two babies I figured I would just kind of tell you 30 random things about myself that you may or may not know um, I guess this is a I mean I'm Angie uh, I didn't put that on the list but my name is Angie uh, number one, I'm 35 years old, but I'll be 36 in June. My birthday is on June 26. And in my opinion, it, June is pretty much the best month to have birthdays. Um, it's usually fairly nice outside. And uh, it's six months in between Christmas. Number two, I have three children. I have two boys. Uh, Reese Karsten with a T in there, Karsten, so Karsten, uh, he is 12 and a half, well not quite 12 and a half, 12 pretty much, and then I have uh, a 10 and a half year old Gibson Jack, uh, and he, his birthday is actually on Halloween, so he's got a really cool birthday in my opinion also, and then I have a daughter Annabelle Lily and Lily is a family name uh, my mom's name is Lily 
my grandma's middle name was Lily, which would be my mom's mom, and then my great grandma, her first name is Lily, so she has Lily as her middle name, and she's six years old, and she will be seven in August. Um, number three, I have I have a degree in nursing. I am a registered nurse, uh, and but currently I am a, um, a stay-at-home mom. So. Uh, number four, I was born with something called FFU syndrome. It's femur fibula ulna syndrome. Uh, it's really rare. Number five, I am an amputee. I have a left below the knee amputation. I had my amputation um, in the year of 2000 and I'm trying to think, I think 14, 2014. Number six, I was born in Texas, and we lived there for the first three years of my life, and um, and then moved to where I currently live, um, which would be number seven, I now live in Michigan. So I've lived in Michigan now um, since I was three years old. Uh, number seven, or no, number eight, uh, I love bluegrass music. Uh, I, I, yeah, I just absolutely love bluegrass music. I've loved bluegrass music since I was a teenager. Um, I love going to bluegrass music um, festivals. I'm looking forward to going to one next month. Uh, it's just a blast. Number nine, I can, I can play the mandolin a little bit. Uh, I took lessons for about a year. And um, I would like to start back up on taking lessons because I just, I love the mandolin. Uh, number 10, when in the year of, well, in 1999, December of 1999, I went on a cruise. It was the Millennium Cruise. And we were at sea um, when the year turned over to 2000. Number 11, my grandma is the one that got me into dolls. Uh, it would be my mom's mom. I called her Nana or Nanny. Uh, she had a very, very, very large uh, porcelain doll collection. Uh, I have no idea how many she had, uh, but it was very large. Sorry, my clock. Uh, number 12, I love camping. Uh, I can't do it as much as I used to um, because it's really difficult um, with my um, health problems, but uh, I do love camping. Number 13, I have rheumatoid arthritis. I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis about three years ago uh, and yeah, I, it's still really hard for me to um, kind of accept that. Uh, I've had a lot of health problems due to the rheumatoid arthritis, and um, I am still working through them. So, number 14, uh, one of the health problems that I have had um, with the diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis is I had an extensive pulmonary embolism or emboli because I had multiple um, emboli in my right lung that landed me in ICU. Uh, that was about two years ago, I believe. And um, I'm, I now take blood thinners for life. Uh, number 15, uh, I love to fish. Again, I don't do it as often as I used to be able to do it, but um, I do I do try to do it a couple times a year. Uh, number, let's see, I was on, I think I was on what, 15? So now I'm on 16. Uh, I have a mini golden doodle named Ruby, the girl. Um, she is mini golden doodle because her mother was a, a full-size um, 
golden retriever and her her dad was a miniature poodle and the way they get the mini golden doodle is artificial insemination so she is uh she's only 12 pounds she's actually on the small side for uh, a mini golden doodle because i think typically they're uh, between 20 and 30 pounds so uh, number 17 I used to work on the pediatric intensive care floor. Uh, I loved it there. I love kids. I spent a lot of time in the hospital uh, growing up as a child uh, with lots of surgeries myself. And so uh, I always knew that I wanted to uh, be a nurse to work with kids. Uh, number 18. I've been now painting dolls for one year, and that's what you're looking at right now is one year difference in my painting. I've been collecting dolls, that would be number 19. I've been collecting dolls for a year and a half. Uh, my first doll that I bought was either, see here, it would have been, I think it was January of, uh, it would have been January of 2018. Uh, next one, number 20, I am an introvert. Um, yeah, definitely an introvert. Uh, and I'm definitely very shy. Number 21, my favorite season is fall. Uh, I love, I just, I love the fall. I love the crisp, cool air, the smell of the air. I love, I love being able to, to um, wear a hoodie. I love uh, bonfires. Uh, I love the, the uh, all the color changes and the changes in the leaves and yeah. So that would be my favorite season. Number twenty-two. I've had a left, uh, total hip replacement. Uh, I was born with congenital hip dysplasia. And uh, I end up getting the hip replacement in 2011, I believe. Uh, let's see, where was I? Okay, number 23. I love thrift and antique store shopping. Uh, it's so much fun. I love, I love just finding, um, like I guess little little prizes or little. Um, yeah, I mean, little prizes or, you know, things that you love and, um, and finding them for a good deal. Number 24, I have a pretty extensive, um, board game collection. I love board games. I have over a hundred of them. Uh, and I'm, I love that my kids are now all getting, they're all, you know, at the age of, of loving to play. Play board games with me and they're all getting to the age where they can play you know play games past Candyland and and shoots and ladders so I'm absolutely loving that uh, number 25 um, I have shot two deer um, I love to hunt although I haven't been able to hunt um, and I don't know I don't I think yeah I, I haven't been able to hunt in quite a long time um, but I have shot two deer and I love like I love venison uh, number 26 I have fish I can show you my fish real quick so there they are uh, it's actually my son's fish but uh, yeah number 27 uh, I would have if it wasn't for my health problems, I would have loved to have more children. Uh, definitely one more. I would have loved to have had four children. But uh, with my daughter, well, I mean, all my pregnancies, uh, I had complications. And with my daughter, uh, I had the added hyperemesis, uh, which is extreme um, throwing up and not being able to keep anything down. And I was on... Uh, home IV fluids for uh, like the first 15 weeks of my pregnancy and I had a pump 
for Zofran to be pumped into my stomach, like into the tissue, um, kind of like an insulin pump. Uh, I was just really sick. And now also on top of, you know, that uh, with my RA, my, my um, clotting problem and all the other uh, health problems I have, uh, it, it's just not an option for me anymore. Um, number 28, I have done foster care in the past. I did foster care before I ever had children and uh, I absolutely loved it and I would, I would love to do it again. Number 29, I want to get better at photography. Uh, I love, I love photography and I love looking at uh, people who do photography, especially, especially of babies and, and uh, kids. And I would love to learn more about it and um, improve my skills or the skills that I lack. <laughs> and the last thing, number 30, I hate tuna fish. Um, kind of a random fact, but I absolutely hate tuna fish. I hate the smell of it. Uh, I've hated it. I've hated it ever since I was a kid. Uh, I, 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 I thought I, I remember the first, I mean, I, I remember getting tuna fish and thinking that my parents were giving me cat food. Um, and I, yeah, I just, I can't stand it. So very random, but yeah, so that is the 30 things about me. And, uh, if anybody else wants to do that video or a video of 30 things about themselves, just let me know and I'll watch it. But yeah, that will be it for today. Uh, I am expecting to get a uh, doll kit in the mail uh, from McPherson's. And uh, if I get a chance, I will come on um, today and do a video of that kit. Or definitely I will tomorrow. Because uh, it's coming UPS. And UPS usually doesn't get here until around 6 or 7 p.m. So... Anyways, I hope all of you guys have a great day, and I just want to thank you guys for watching. Bye, guys.